Hello students let us discuss the oxidation state of group 16 elements these are oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium here the first member of this group is oxygen therefore this group is called as oxygen family in which oxygen and sulfur are non metals selenium and tellurium are metalloids and polonium is the metal all these elements have ns2 np4 configuration in their outermost shell therefore the atoms of these element try to gain or share two electron to achieve noble gas configuration so these usually form the oxidation state like minus 2 minus 1 plus 2 plus 4 and plus 6 that means these elements show two types of oxidation state that is negative oxidation state and positive oxidation state the highest oxidation state in this elements are plus 6 because the group number is 16 so the highest oxidation state can be calculated by 16 minus 10 that is equal to 6 so plus 6 is the highest oxidation state for these element from these elements oxygen is the most electronegative element so because of this reason they usually form negative oxidation state but there are some exception in which oxygen can form positive oxidation state also like in the case of of2 in the case of of2 because when you compare oxygen and fluorine fluorine is more electronegative so the negative oxidation state is for fluorine that means here the oxygen develop a positive oxidation state that is plus 2 oxidation state for o here so what we can say that oxygen because being more electronegative it usually develop negative oxidation state like minus 2 but minus 1 oxidation state it is found in peroxide and plus 2 oxidation state in the case of uh, that is of2 because f is more electronegative than oxygen but oxygen cannot form plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation state like the other elements form because in the case of oxygen there is an absence of vacant d orbital so the electron from the p cannot be excited to the vacant d orbital so it does not show the oxidation state plus 4 and plus 6 but in the case of sulfur and other elements because there is vacant d orbital here so the electron here in the case of ground state there are two unpaired electron so it form plus 2 oxidation state one of the pair electron get excited to the vacant d orbital so now in this case in the first excited state there are four unpaired electron so it show plus 4 oxidation state one more electron is there paired when it get excited so it forms a six unpaired electron here now that is it form plus 6 oxidation state so what we can say that because in the case of oxygen there is no vacant d orbital for the excitation of electron so its oxidation state is limited to minus 2 minus 1 and it shows plus 2 oxidation state with the molecule with fluorine because fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen so what we can say that here these can show plus 2 plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation state but in the case of oxygen no d orbital so excitation not possible as when we compare the these elements oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium as here oxygen and sulfur are non metals selenium tellurium are metalloids and polonium is a metal that means top to bottom metallic character is increases therefore its tendency tendency to form negative oxidation state decreases therefore we can say that uh, here these elements uh, minus 2 oxidation state 
decreases for these element top to bottom because its metallic character is increases. But the plus 6 oxidation state, the stability of plus 6 oxidation state decreases and the plus 4 oxidation state increases. The stability of plus 4 oxidation state increases because of inert pair effect. So that is all about this video that is the oxidation state of the group 16 element. So what are the common oxidation state? Minus 2, minus 1, plus 2, plus 4 and plus 6. So depending upon the oxidation state they form variety of compounds. So that we will be going to discuss in the further videos. So have a nice day.